Hey everybody. So, from stats in the front, the main thing is prediction and strafing in the opposite direction that you think your enemy is going to turn and keeping your finger off W. With jump stabs, it's very important that as soon as you jump, you hit crouch. Um, that's how you can get the tightest ones into the most uh, minimum inclined site there on that teleporter. Um, I could have stabbed that soldier probably, but um, there's a scout there and some other things shooting at me, so um, I decided to kind of run on his head and avoid the scout and, well, you know, get him later. Alright, now it's time to go behind them. Um, <laughs> kind of messed up there. Uh, I should have surfed onto the railing so I didn't make a falling noise. I didn't take much damage, but um, a better player would have heard me falling. It's a little flat though, not a big deal. Um, there I just tried to take some good damage, um, convince him to feign. Um, and then I feigned, you know, because he could have killed me in one hit, and, uh, you know, <laughs> I seem to be missing a lot. So. Try to make things easier for myself. Eh, I think that demo's not going to be able to do much. Let's go ahead and find more important stuff. So, I'm disguised as an engineer because I'm running back behind the line. Um, and that's kind of the only class that might be doing that, possibly. <laughs> Fortunately, I wasn't disguised as the same guy as that person. Alright, so on open and pretty flat mats, flat mats, like Gully Wash, it's pretty important to really utilize your gun to the full extent that you can. And uh, this was totally on purpose. But uh, main thing is, wait for the medic, he's the biggest target. Alright, so right now I'm running the Ambassador and the Spice School, which is a pretty potent combination. Um, mainly the downside of the Spice School is that it can deny you picks you'd get otherwise when the Pyro lights you up early. Um, but one-on-one, -on -one, it's just a real um, great addition to your arsenal. Um, you can get about two seconds of uh, immunity with it, which gives you a lot of wiggle room to kind of outmaneuver its um, flames. But with jump stabs and under stabs and stuff, um, you know, those are a whole lot easier using the stock knife. Of course, you know, um, that shots are fun too. They're a little more reliable yeah, once you get good at them. <laughs> this is some silly acting. I'm kind of amazed that Dumbo didn't. <laughs> he seemed to be the only one onto it. But, uh, you know, just keep your eyes off your opponents. And, uh,. <laughs> Take as much damage as you, can, as you can for getting the medic. It's, again, the most important thing you can, you can do. Now this is a pub, so we're just going to kind of have fun. Uh, not really worry about winning. <laughs> this is a great way to get behind the game. Like, hey, uh, you can only open from one side, and so you just kind of bait them into you know doing a little damage, you know, which will be inconsequential if you're dead ringer. They let you in, and then you can kind of get naughty, or at least taunt them. <laughs> So it's really important to hop around when you're when you're hitting rockets and kind of predict where the soldier's going to shoot. Uh, 42 is a little uh, low, so I should probably be careful at this point <laughs> instead of decloaking right in front of that demo. Going for the little trick stab. <laughs> so check this out. That stab would have landed if he'd actually re reacted to seeing me. <laughs> I take I, I take no credit for that whiff. That was his fault. And, uh, yeah, I wasn't disguised when I crossed past him, so I guess he was looking a little too far down. Alright, now I call this the Praying Mantis Stab. It's kind of an alteration of the uh, Ladybug Stab, but, uh, you know, it worked pretty reliably, especially for the Dead Ringer. It's worth the risk. So I, you know, take a rocket first before fainting. I know I can take at least one unless it's a crit. And, I, you know, I figure there's a chance I might fill the full chip. It doesn't work out, but there's so many health packs and ammo packs around, it really doesn't matter. I, I feel really confident that I can just kind of mess around. Now here's one reason you want to leave shadows on. See how I can see that spy to the left through the, through the wall? I, I, that's how I avoided getting spotted there. And 
really helped out. So, I, you know, you do get a frame rate increase by having shadows out, but if you can afford it, like, you really want those on for that, those kind of situations. Right. I really enjoy the kunai as well as the internal reward on this map, uh, Death Bowl. It's so, people are so clustered together, you know, they're, they're great chain stab knives. And, uh, you can really have a lot of um, opportunities for those here. And with the Dead Ringer, you know, you can, despite it being a very spamming map, you can often kind of mitigate the, the damage and, until you get in place for a nice secure stab. This is a, a sixes lobby, um, six or six. And I'm running spy, which people don't usually do, but you know, lobbies are just for fun. I'm seeing what I can do with it. Using your gun is great um, with the Dead Ringer, otherwise you're going to miss it using your knife with the invisibility watch. But you know, when you get in close range, uh, in situations where you need to kill them in one hit, you know, your knife is the best option. <coughs> anyway, um, and now enjoy something completely different.